my beautiful Libra, welcome to my channel, my name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing your July monthly reading to see what's in store for you and what advice does the universe have for you and see how, you know, this month can be best navigated. This month is crazy. <laughs> July has so many astrological, like, stuff going on. The skies are active. Um, there's eclipses, there's new moons, there are full moons, there's retrogrades. Um, Mercury is going retrograde on the 7th or 8th and Neptune is retrograde and Saturn is retrograde and Jupiter is retrograde and I believe Pluto is retrograde. <laughs> so yeah, we are in retrograde season officially. I'm going to be pulling 8 cards from the Mystic Monday deck and I'm going to do a weekly breakdown with the Amenti Oracle. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button right now if you want to make me really happy. <laughs> Libras. Guys, I'm opening a Yoga with Katie channel. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a yoga teacher as well. So if you would like to join me over there for guided meditations, free classes, or even just beginning to explore yoga for the first time, I would love to have you over there. I'm gonna link it below in the description box. I like barely haven't, like, the channel is not even like done yet. So don't expect to like go in and see like a bunch of cool stuff. There's like four meditations so far. <laughs> But I promise I'll be posting a lot more and it's going to be transforming very soon into a very lovely space. At the bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. Maybe you're dealing with a Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Or maybe this month you're going to be feeling very much like a boss or a girl boss in your workspace. Six of Wands. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first card of this reading is victory, success, excitement, joy. Um, coming out of a difficult situation as the leader of your life, the authority in your life, and being so bright and shiny that others are just kind of like following your lead because they can tell that you have been able to transform painful situations from the past into magic and it's like you're moving forward with all of this like super beautiful energy and they're noticing that and they're following you knight of pentacles definitely an earth sign is around for some of you know that i don't do reversals so if you see me flipping the cards and freaking out um don't freak out i just don't do the reversals <laughs> it's funny every time i flip a card i can hear you guys like why is she flipping a card <laughs> there's always someone like why is she flipping the card? And I can like just listen to you, it's so funny. And then you comment in the comment section like, that was me. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, Knight of Pentacles. So yes, you're moving forward in victory and in enjoyment. Some of you guys could be dealing with an air, earth sign, sorry. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This other person might not be moving forward in their life as fast as you are moving forward in yours. And they might be looking at you, some might be a little bit jealous, others might be trying to figure out what you're doing so they can do it themselves. Five of Cups. Ten of Wands. Some of you guys are externally projecting this Six of Wands energy, can you see? how happy she looks she's chill relaxed looking elegant happy beautiful like everything is right under the sun right some of you are bringing in this image externally but this is how you're feeling internally ten of wands overwhelmed overworked exhausted so be careful with that that is a message that came for your weekly reading. So if you want to check that out, you can do so. It's I think it's already uploaded in the channel. Make sure that your external facade is an accurate representation of what's going on internally. And if you feel like what's going on internally is not a match to how you want to appear, then evaluate what is in you know lack of balance and try to fix that this month. 
This month has the potential to get you deeper and deeper and deeper into this overwhelmed energy if you're not careful. And it also has the potential to make you look for all of the negative things that are happening instead of focusing on the things that are working for you. So try to be, you know, like truly actively engaging in gratitude, even if it doesn't feel genuine sometimes, because it's very easy for Libra this month to lose the awareness of what is actually going right, okay? We got the lovers, the lovers. Some of you are in a relationship or starting to date a earth sign. They may be a little bit intimidated by you, I do have to say, especially in the work area. Guys, these are beautiful energies. I don't know why. I mean, I don't, I'm not an astrologer, so I guess that's why. <laughs> um, I don't know why when I saw all of these like astrological alignments, I thought that it was going to be more of a difficult month than a cool month. But honestly, like every single reading that I'm doing is just like bright and shiny love and happiness with a sprinkle of healing. <laughs> I thought that it was going to be kind of like a roller coaster madness of emotions but it doesn't seem to be like like that and you guys are yet another um proof that it seems to be a very lovely month for many of you lovers eight of pentacles six of cups ten of cups okay some of you guys know that you're working too hard and that you need to pull back and that you're getting overwhelmed overwhelmed overworked but some of you guys are so happy about it about the progress that you're making, about the pace that you're taking. And it's like that overwhelm brings happiness to your heart. You know, like, it's like, I don't want to stop. I am feeling incredibly productive and I know that it's a bit much, but I enjoy it. I don't want to stop. If that's the case for you, then that's the case for you. You know, you don't have to stop. You don't have to get the overwhelmed, I guess. <laughs> but um, just make sure that you're taking care of your body, right? Some of you guys could be wondering and pondering and feeling a little bit nostalgic about people from the past. I mean, retrograde season is the exes season. All the exes come out of the work, right? To say hi, to see what happened, to reevaluate things. You don't really have to go through that if you don't want to, but it will be a great time for closures. You are going to feel very inclined to do some closures. Some of you guys are going to be healing your heart chakra, others your throat chakra. Some of you have deep regrets of the past and you're going to be healing that. A lot of enjoyable, focused work is what I'm seeing for you. So, you know, remain focused on your creativity. Continue to, to explore that need of creating things that is giving you so much so much satisfaction this month you seem happy guys i love it i love seeing my libras happy so now i'm going to be doing the weekly breakdown to see what message is available for each week for you guys from the amenti oracle Universe, what is the ideal message for our beautiful Libras for the first week of July? I speak with sincerity. I do feel like some of you are needing to express something, maybe an apology, maybe a need, maybe a desire that is hard to explain or hard to take that first step and do. It may be something that you feel a lot of resistance with. It would be wonderful in the first week of the month, especially before Mercury, Mercury goes retrograde, to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation if you need to. What is the message for the second... Whoa, hi. <laughs> I advance through my own abilities. Yes, I feel like some of you guys are feeling very proud of the accomplishments that you're having, the pace that you're, you know, keeping. And also, the fact that this is you. The fact that all of these effort and all of these rewards are you and are yours and nobody can take that away from you. All of your hard work is something that you have 
created with so much love and energy and like you can see that others can see that and everyone's feeling like damn libra you know that's awesome what you're creating is awesome how hard you're working is awesome and the fact that it makes you feel good on top of it is just amazing third week of july for libras two messages I am accepting this came up for the previous sign in the same week and I am forgiving I am accepting and I am forgiving so this third week of the month seems to be more emotional less work oriented and more soul oriented healing expansion forgiveness surrender acceptance active healing work is going to take place in the third week of the month Last week of the month, I honor virtue. Honor your virtues, your compassion, your sincerity, your transparency, your leadership. I mean, I don't know, this are to me virtues, I guess. I'm not very clear on what virtues are for everybody. Like, I know a friend, I have a friend that I love so much and she's such a dear, lovely, lovely, lovely person. This popped out, I am kind. And she does this like children's, I don't know if she still does it, like that was years ago, but she does this class of um, virtues for children. And she is from a particular religious path, Baha'i, I think it's what it is. And they are very open to, you know, like allowing and supporting everybody to have their own, you know, belief system as well and acceptance of others. And I mean, explore what virtues are for you. Explore what the word virtue means to you and what are your virtue, virtues and what are the virtues that you're, tr that you're trying to cultivate within you. Last message that I'm going to be pulling is going to be from the Art of Attention Yoga deck by Elena Brower. Intuition. Your intuition holds ancient wisdom. Trust it. Couldn't be more clear, Libra. <laughs> That's what I have for you this month. I hope that you have a lovely month of July. It seems like you're going to have a lovely, lovely month. So enjoy every bit of it. And please let me know um, how are you feeling below in the comment section. I would love to connect to you. And I'll see you very soon, guys. Please make sure to check out the yoga channel and check out the weekly readings as well. And I'll see you soon. Bye, Libra.